Hey guys, it's time for another Gratitude Shave. Hello everybody, I am just Lance and I would love to welcome you all back for another video. Anyways, as you can see, it's time for a Gratitude Shave. In this video, I'm going to be using products that I received from a subscriber yesterday or products that I have received in the past from this subscriber except one which will be a product that I've already gone through but I just love it so much that I go ahead and I keep buying it anyways uh, the subscriber is Dennis and he was thinning out his shaved in and he threw me together a box and another subscriber I mean, not another subscriber, another YouTuber. And shipped them out. Got the box yesterday. I was going to do the unboxing on camera. But when I saw the size of the box, I thought, man, that's going to take forever to do an unboxing on video. It took a bit for me to go through it. Um, besides, I didn't think you guys want me to go, hang on. Honey, what's this? Ask my girlfriend. Oh, it's this. Honey, what's this? Oh, it's this. So, anyways, that's why I'm going ahead, or that's why I didn't do an unboxing on camera. But, anyways, so let's go ahead and uh, let's take a look at the pro some of the products he sent me um, and get on with the shave. The razor. Now, I'll save the razor for last. Anyways, the brush is one that I am absolutely ecstatic to have. Um, many of you who are watching knows who Peter Wolf is. If the name doesn't ring a bell, maybe his company name will, which is Wolf Whiskers Brushes. Anyways, Dennis had picked up some Wolf Whisker Brushes and he ended up getting one. Well, let me show you. This is it, guys. Resin handle. Just look at the shape and design of it. I mean, it's got this here, got this little ridge, and then it comes down, and it goes in, comes out, goes in, curves out, and comes down to a little curve in here. This is probably one of the coolest brush handles that I have got. But look at that. Look at the coloring of it, guys. My girlfriend described it to me. It sounds really awesome. Got a synthetic knot, gray here, black tips. I'm not sure what knot this is, but apparently, as you can see, there's no coin that says wolf whiskers or any markings, but this actually turns out it was either Peter Wolf's one of Peter Wolf's dad's brushes, or father-in-law, or his father-in-law's brush. Um, so, it's Wolf Whisker-ish, but I am absolutely ecstatic to have it. I just think it is an absolutely gorgeous brush. The soap is one that many of us has heard of, but never used. And it is this. This is Martin de Condre Nature. Nice little glass jar. Metal lid. It has no scent, but it's full. It's their scentless offering. So if you can't wear scents because your skin is sensitive or your job, you have people that just you know, bosses that don't want you coming in, stinking to high heaven of good stuff, but you want to wear something good, nature might be a good soap to go for. That will be lathered up in this cool little lather bowl. I only got one lather bowl, well, a couple of lather bowls. I got a timeless lather bowl and a wooden bowl that has a puck of, uh, Art of Shaving, uh, Lavender, which, by the way, really doesn't have a scent. But um, 
And now this one, it's got a little brush rest right here, a little, little, little spiral pattern in the bottom. Hang on guys, I need a drink of water. I'll be finishing that off with Panag, I'll be finishing the shave off with Panag Clubman. Now the blades, he also sent me some blades and there was one blade in there that I've never even heard of, let alone used. And they're these, they're called Tatras. Never even heard of them. So looking forward to using that. Now, <laughs> the razor is one that many wet shavers out there has, loves, but I don't have until now. And it is this, the Carve Christopher Bradley with the D plate. Look at that. It's got this neat little indentation curve here that goes in. Apparently he had gotten this first and then got a stainless steel version. And he figured having two is redundant. So he went ahead and he decided to send this one off to me because he doesn't use, he wasn't using it now that he had the stainless steel. So let's go ahead. Let's, it's a three piece razor. I got a little nylon washer on the bottom. It's got a nice heavy handle. Now I know Justin, the Red Island Shaver, he's got all the carve razors. He's got the aluminum, the brass, and the uh, stainless steel. Got little short, little short stabilizer pins. And here you can see it kinda is even machined where it curves there too. So we'll set these down. Let's go ahead and let's check out one of these here Tatra blades. Come on, open up. Ah, dang it, just tore the pack. But that's fine, we're not shaving with the cardboard tuck. We're shaving with the blade. Anyways, there's how the blade looks, or the wrapper looks. Let's see if it's single or double wrapped. Yep, double wrapped. That's nice, nice little touch. And I was looking at the box that the carve came to me in. And it's really cool because it's this big box. When you look at it, you're like, that's a big box for just a razor. But the cool thing is, is it's got the spot where the razor goes. And then on the side, that's how the blade looks. Oops, almost dropped it. Anyways, it's got on the side, it's actually got little um, slots cut in the foam that the carve sets down in to where, um, what do you call it, to where they can go ahead. So if you buy all the plates, A through, A through F or A through G, depending on um, whether you got the open or the closed comb, you can actually go ahead and, uh, and where did I put my little washer? Oh, well, I'll find it. Dennis has been, was using this for a while without a nylon washer, so I'll have to find it. I'm not sure where I sat down at. My bad. And there you go. Got the blade in it. The blade reveal feels fine. 
which I'm sure Dennis would say something if it wasn't fine. So let's go ahead. I don't know who makes this lather ball. All I know is it's cool. I really, really like it. I'm going to warm this glass up, this bowl up real quick. And in order to get the uh, Martin DeCondre out, brought in a little plastic spoon. Because I'm thinking my Mickey Mouse spoon might be a little bit wide for it. It's a pretty firm soap. Really firm as a matter of fact. Dang, this is some hard soap, guys. Hang on a sec. There we go. Oh man, that might be just a little bit too much. But I'm a head shaver too, so I think it'll work just fine. Alright, I'll go ahead, cut away get it lathered up and uh, I just ended up smearing it around in the bottom of the bowl so I'll go ahead and get it lathered and then I'll be back that lathered up really really nice gonna use the PAA pre-shaved cube which I gotta start remembering to use this, especially which also yesterday received a the 2.0 cube, the big one, and um, it's big. <laughs> that 2.0 cube is good size. Um, I really, really should. Go ahead and remember to use it when I'm uh, straight razor shaving because uh, one moment, but uh, I really, really need to remember to use the cube before straight razor shave because in my last video uh, guy of the Shaving Chronicles Gentleman's Edge said that he noticed my uh, razor was kind of sticking I forget exactly how you put it but he recommended I used some type of pre-shave like noxema or pre-shave oil so hmm oh yeah These, this brush feels really nice on the face Hmm. I'm not quite sure of the knot size. I think it's probably like a 26. It could be wrong. But uh feels good on your face. Wow, this is a thirsty soap. Thank you for your comments on the last video, guys. Appreciate that. And uh, if you didn't stick around for the whole video, I understand it was a long one. It was like 33 minutes. Um, so, 
but I did several shout outs welcoming some new subscribers to the channel so if uh, you're new to the channel and I got a notification that you went ahead and did subscribe Then, um, yeah, that's a nice ladder. And, uh, if I got a notification and you subscribed, I shouted your name out. All right. Welcoming number of folks to the channel, like six six or so people, maybe, maybe more, I can't remember, oops, don't want bar soap in my, hang on guys, but uh, totally brain farted. Oh, let's see how this deep plate feels. Oh, that's nice. Oh, that, that's smooth. Oh, nice. Got about, wow. Wow, 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 wow. That took it down. That is efficient. Oh man, that is damn. You're right, Dennis. I'm loving it already. I mean, this this thing is like no problem. If I remember the specs, I got a pimple right here on the side of my neck. Well, actually, like an ingrown hair. So. But, uh,. Apparently, Dennis had the timeless open comb, bronze, like I do, which has got a 0 0.78 blade gap, and, uh, I mean, that, it just, it just rips through whiskers like nobody's business, that timeless bronze. And Dennis was telling me one time, hang on guys. And Dennis was telling me one time that, sorry guys, that uh, that was his favorite razor, if I remember correctly, he said that was his favorite razor until he got this one. And I can see why. Very, very nice. Like nothing, like freaking butter. These are nice blades too. But yeah, I can't remember. Like I said, the Timeless Bronze is 0 0.78 blade gap. Oh wow. This could, wow, like four, I had like four days growth. And it just took it right off. This. I don't think I've got a DE that is... That's nice. That is as efficient as this. I really don't. I'm trying to think if I do. I mean, I got a lot of DEs. Um, 
I don't even think my GM Micromatic open comb is this efficient. I mean, that's... It's a pretty damn efficient <laughs> razor, that, that. Uh, Micromatic open comb. Wow, that's, I'm shocked. I mean, I'm going to go a week before I use this again without shaving. I'm going to go a full freaking week and see how that does. Bet you this would be a nice head shaver too. My God, wow. Yeah, this is, this is the kind of razor that you could just do a quick with and a quick against, which is what I'm gonna do with this one. All right, I'll be back in a minute. That yeah, little brush rest on this little shade bowl, that's nice, that's cool. I'll just do a quick paint on. I'm loving this brush too. And the soap feels really, really nice on the face. Man. <laughs> um, I mean, I'm loving this shave, man. I'm loving this shave. I mean... The soap's great. Soap's mate. The soap is wonderful. Um, I don't know if it's the best soap I ever used, but it's pretty darn good. It's pretty freaking darn good, guys. But, uh, the soap's great. The blade's great, comfortable blade, and uh, the razor is comfy, smooth, eff efficient as hell. I mean, is it the most efficient razor I own? Our most efficient DE I own. Uh, it might. It very well might be. Wow. Yeah, a couple of back on Saturday morning, Saturday afternoon. Um, I felt like I was ragdoll between the Jolly Green Giant and his twin brother because I don't know what the hell I did but uh I was sitting in my chair and uh I think one of the contributors to his my recliner me and my girlfriend my mom gave us a couch love seat actually that has the little storage compartment in the middle with a cup with two cup holders and on each side is a recliner and uh, uh about a year and a half or so ago and uh it's the kind where you reach down and you grab the little thing the release lever is on the side and uh You just reach down, you pull it straight out, and it releases the footrest. Well, mine, and all I gotta do is replace the lever. But, uh, reach down so I could put my feet up. 
and uh, pulled on it and I heard a snap and the little lever came out of the side. I was like, no. So, my feet, I couldn't put them up. So I ended up grabbing my desk chair and uh, used that as a footrest for a bit. And then I think my feet being up on it because I've got, I've got muscle, you know, I get bad muscle cramps in my thighs if I sit with my legs in the wrong position or with my feet on the ground in a chair for too long. Wow, hang on guys. Wow. Oh, that's a little bit of soap right there. Went ahead and took a shower and uh Don't worry guys, it is a clean sponge. I didn't grab like a sink counter sponge or anything like that. But uh Yeah. Somebody goes ahead and grabs a sponge in the bathroom. It's like, oh I hope that thing's clean. At least I'd be thinking that. <laughs> but uh Yeah, I think that uh razor and brush right there those are going to be my golems golem right that's going to be my little you know, those are I'm, i feel like gold man it's like my precious my precious not bad not bad at all i mean yeah a little bit of a sting but you weren't kidding dennis this is amazing, amazing razor. Absolutely amazing razor. But anyways, I'll go ahead. Uh, let this sit for a minute. Uh, rinse off, shave my head. I'll be back for the post. Hey, anyway, hey guys. Well, got the dome smooth. Used the normal, or used the leaf um, razor for that. Uh, my next video will be a head shave video, um, which was the shave that I did right after that last shave I did with the George Butler straight razor. Um, but this, this video, it's going up before that one. I had an absolutely incredible shave, incredibly close. I mean, it just, I mean. I'm, 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 I'm stunned on how efficient that razor is, but let's take a look one more time at the gear because it definitely deserves it. The razor, the car of Christopher Bradley in brass with a Tatra blade. Dry my hands. The brush, an early hand-turned resin, um, Wolf Whiskers brush, um, not marked, but um, at least I'm pretty sure it's a Wolf. You know, um, because of my voiceover, I wasn't sure if Dennis said that uh, his Peter's dad turned this brush or not. But I think he said, I think, I think he meant, um, Peter did. And, uh, absolutely beautiful, beautiful brush. I mean, this thing is stunning. My girlfriend described the colors and just the shape of it is just, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm blown away. I mean, this is 
gorgeous. Um, awesome knot, gray with black tips, synthetic. Um, neither that carve or that brush it ain't never leaving my den. That is for sure. That is 100% for sure. Um, the soap. Martin DeCondre Nature. Um, which, by the way, if you've never gotten a Martin DeCondre soap, it's really cool. They send it to you in a box with the, with the jar in the middle of it. And then a thing on top that tells you the best way to lather the soap, like a little... Uh, paper, uh, heavy paper insert and you know and then put put a lid on it really really nice packaging on the Martin de Condre. Um it was whipped up in this nice little lather bowl as you can see I still got some Martin some Martin de Condre in there and my hands And I can see exactly why he said that um, it knocked the timeless off of its pedestal, so to speak. Because it's, it's, I mean, the guys that carve, they did it right. They did it right. Now, time for the after show. Oh, the bomb don't go on first. First, now, I got early on a T. Dickinson's Witch Hazel from Dennis. And ever since then, that's all I use. So, T. Dickinson's Witch Hazel. I mean, that razor didn't cut me. Didn't nick me. I got no weepers, creepers of any kind. It's just... It just, I mean, it gets in there, it takes out the whiskers, it does its job, it don't play around, let's put it that way, it's just that, that D-plate, it does not play around at all. And I mean, I like the timeless, but sometimes it can be just a tad bit rough, because the, I guess because of it being an open comb, but it still gives great shades. That uber, uber smooth. Aftershave bomb. Um, uh, oh shoot. Uh, Sumner de Paolo. Aftershave bomb. I'll, I'll, I'll sit there and uh, remember it here in a minute. Sapone. Sapone de Palo. Got a good scent. I like it. Oh, that feels good on the face. That feels good. That feels really nice on the face. Nice and soothing too. And for the aftershave, some vintage shave on. <laughs> no, that yeah, I'm definitely gonna be dumping that um, as soon as I can find my 
aftershave. Here it is. Um, I'm going to be dumping that, that car of vintage Avon. I'm going to keep the car, but I'm dumping the Avon aftershave. I mean, it, it tore me up. Um, not Clubman. A little bit of burn from the non. Mm. Much, much, much better than the vintage Avon. That is for sure. Anyways, guys, that's the video. Thank you so much for joining me. Um, likes, comments, subscriptions. Always appreciate it. If uh, you ever need to reach me via email, my email address is in my about section. Y'all take it easy. Once again, thank you so much for that box, Dennis. I appreciate it very much. And um, I'm, I'm, I'm just blown away, man. I am absolutely blown away. Anyways, so that's that's the video. Y'all take it easy. I shall see all of you on the flip side of the blade. Bye-bye now.